Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Hi, hello, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today we're here to answer the age old question, at least the one I get messaged about all the time, which is Is it worth, you know, the money, the difference to go up from the Chicago Electric uh, 12 inch sliding miter saw to the new Admiral 12 inch sliding miter saw? So we're going to talk about. The, uh, the costs and the benefits of both. And at the end, you can determine whether it's going to make a good choice for you. So here we have the uh, the basic 12-inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw from Chicago Electric, a.k.a. Harbor Freight. Now, this saw has been around for ages. And in fact, one of the reasons I started this channel was I was hearing a lot of disinformation about saying that all electrical tools and stuff from Harbor Freight were bad tools and that you should avoid these saws. I had one of these saws. I had no problem getting decent cuts out of it. I knew other people who did as well. So I wanted to get out there and, and kind of present the other side of it, which is if you know what you're doing and you do it right, you don't rush the job, you can get great cuts from a lot, pretty much most saws, let's be honest. A lot of it has to do with the blade, if nothing else. So this saw is currently listed at $189.99. Of course, now we remember the bear's first rule. What's the bear's first rule? Shop at Harbor Freight. Always use a coupon. Yeah, and you can see there's currently a coupon for $139.99. But the best price coupon that we see every few months or so on this saw is $129.99. Now, a big caveat from when I first purchased this saw is it no longer comes with a blade. So that's $130 bucks without a blade. Still not a bad deal, but let's see what we get with the Admiral. Now, with the Admiral, we get a list price of essentially $200. Bucks. Now, there's a coupon out there for $179.99, but uh, again, there's a, a cheaper coupon that goes around. I think it's for $169.99, essentially $170. And uh, so what you're, getting, what you're looking at is... 170 for this, 130 for the other one. That means that you're looking at a difference of $40. So are you going to spend, if you got the 40 bucks, are you going to spend the 40 bucks to go up from one saw to the other? Well, let's take a look at this, shall we? So uh, on the surface, you look at these saws and I mean, boy, they, they could be kissing cousins there. If, if not, you know, almost twins, just other than a slight paint job, they're very, very similar, but they are different in some key Shut up, Moto. But they are different in some key areas. So let's talk about those. Now, they've talked about the features here. they got a little feature page here for the Chicago Electric. And <laughs> those features are kind of vague. Comfortable D handle. Sturdy carrying handle. Dust collection system, which in all but the highest end uh, sliding miter saws are, is just a joke. Uh, we got dual linear slide rails. 45 degree tilting blade. Rotating locking table. Adjustable sliding fence, uh, heavy duty transparent blade guard, so you can see the spinning death in front of you. The trigger activated laser guide system, sturdy aluminum base, those are two words you don't often hear together, and clamp assembly and extension wings. All right, I'm giving them a hard time. All right, moving forward to the Admiral. Now, the Admiral talks about oh, it's got an LED work light and a 15 amp motor and the sliding extension table and the laser cut line, a front bevel control, 4.5 tall sliding fences, the 60 tooth saw blade. Yes, it does come with a saw blade. Now that's, that's a big deal. We're going to talk about that here in just a second. And of course the four direction non snag rollers, uh, reduces hose wear. Well, that's, huh? That's, not something you usually see on a sliding miter saw. It sounds like maybe somebody some edited some or saved some copy from one of their hose reels. All right, moving on. Anyway, as I talk about there, the uh, the the Chicago Electric has a 45 degree uh, uh, angle of tilt there, whereas the Admiral can do a 47. Not much of a difference, but it can be key in, in some cuts. Now, the other thing we want to talk about this is the Chicago Electric. To get that, that bevel there, that you're going to have to access the rear-mounted uh, control there for unlocking and locking it. On the Admiral, it's up front. It's right next to the locking knob for the table itself. How easy is that? You know, I've got the uh, the, the Hercules uh, saw my, myself in my shop, and I love it. But, man, I wish I had this. This makes it so easy to access and so easy to use. Now, another thing we need to talk about is those sliding tables. 
and also the fence. If you notice, clearly we look at the fence, and the fence is much higher, uh, better built on, on the uh, on the Admiral. And we look at the table itself. Look at those table extensions. On the Chicago Electric, basically you've got some bent bars and the slide out the side, and uh, you've got a little plate there at the end you can push up for an end stop. The Chicago, or the Admiral, I should say, has a solid, almost an extension to the table itself that slides out, giving you more of a flat surface, giving you a sturdy, sturdier work surface, has a nice little tab that flips up for your end stops. All in all, a better construction, sturdier work surface, taller fence, Right, that right there. Now, you, you got to ask yourself, is that worth the $40 difference? Let's talk about the laser. The laser, now, you may think this is no big deal. Well, laser's a laser, right? Now, I've had the Chicago Electric for years. The Chicago Electric laser is right there, right above that. It's hard to see. In fact, when you first get it, you're not quite sure where the laser is. If you notice, that's right below the desk port. Want to guess what collects there, like, after your first time using it? Dust. You two or three passes with this on, and that is going to be completely packed with dust. Shut up, Moto. And after, you know, oh my gosh, you know, extended use, you're going to be constantly clearing that thing out just so the laser will actually see the workpiece. On the Admiral, the laser is mounted above the blade, casting in a downward pattern. No fear of dust blocking it or getting in the way. It gives you a better sight pattern and truer alignment with the blade. Another thing that the Admiral has is it has this handy little work light mounted over here. Now, what this is going to do is going to illuminate the, the surface where you're cutting if it's a little bit dim or something like that. Yeah, that's not even an option on the Chicago Electric. Okay, another thing. We got the Admiral comes with a blade. As you can see on the right, the Chicago Electric, there's your option on the left. Okay, you can buy a blade. This is a $20 blade it comes with. So really now what you're looking at is, is a $20 difference. So here's the question for you. Are you willing to save what is essentially $20 because you got to buy a blade. Now, maybe you got a blade lying around or something. Now, I'm not going to say these saws are significantly different in build. They're, they're pretty much the same saw, all right? They work off the same frame, the same concepts. Uh, they, I don't know if the motor internals are the same, but I haven't seen anything about them to be like, wow, the Admiral is just stunningly different. Basically, what you've got here is a the Chicago Electric is a budget consumer and uh, saw, and the, the Admiral is a is your essentially your prosumer DIY or upgraded saw. It's like I said about the air compressors; they took the original saw, fixed all the problems that people complained about uh, on it, and you know charged a few bucks more for it. You know, once you throw that blade in there, you're only talking about a difference of twenty dollars, unless you're really strapped for cash. And I can see it. Maybe you are, in this, which case, you know, you do what you got to do. But unless you're really, truly strapped for cash, I find it hard to go with the Chicago Electric and see that the Admiral would have to be the way to go. Now, I'm not saying that the Admiral is better than the Hercules. That's a whole other conversation. Maybe we'll do another video about that one. Well, anyway, there you go. There you have it. I hope I answered all your questions. Now, I didn't get into, like, the, the, the length of cut and all that stuff because they're actually fairly similar. The, the full uh, length of cut, sliding cut, that is, uh, is uh, I think 13 and three quarters on the Chicago Electric. It's like uh, 14, a solid 14 on the Admiral. And the uh, cut capacity, the vertical cut capacity is five and a half inches on the Admiral. And on the, uh, the Chicago Electric, you're looking at three and three and a half inches. Now, the reason we didn't cover these here is because you can look at the specs and if that is an issue for you, then it's clear as to what your choice is going to have to be. You don't have an alternative. The question here is, are the other features and stuff, which aren't the, you know, make or break kind of features, are those going to be big enough to make a change for you? And anyway, let me know down below if you're you know, thinking about buying one of these saws, if this swayed your opinion, if you think you're going to go one way or the other way with one now. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you. You all take care. God bless. And as always, say it with me. Shine on.